Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. I am Sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. So, today we will be going to talk about 10 major features in Windows 11. So, let's get started. After 6 years during which Windows 10 remained largely unchanged, the world's most popular desktop operating system is getting a major overhaul with the unveiling of Windows 11, as most users are willing to upgrade or either install new operating system, so before that, get an idea about the prominent features of this demanding operating system. So the first thing I can see here is the new start menu. At first glance, the biggest difference in Windows 11 is that the taskbar and start button are centered as opposed to being on the left of the screen. There will be an option to move it back to the corner if you are not willing to retrain your muscle memory. But Microsoft seems to want to bring the feature more in line with the way Mac operating system and Chrome operating system look. It has a flay out design with pinned and recommended apps accompanying each other. So far in my usage, the recommendations are pretty good. It quickly offers me access to documents photos and applications that I have installed. Apart from that, you can hover your mouse over the search menu and it will offer you a few suggested applications based on your past searches. Overall, I think the new start is the best thing about Windows 11. It's fast, resolves your queries smartly and offers the best result within second. And if I talk about the action center here, here you can see it follows a design language that we have seen on mobiles and I quite like this mobile first approach to important system toggles. You can now simply click on the unified Wi-Fi, volume and battery button to open the new action center. It packs all the necessary controls including brightness and volume slider. You can also add more toggles like before. Here you can see I have added the night light. What's more interesting in that the Bluetooth connection is now much faster and you don't need to dive into settings to pair your device. It also houses the notifications in a clean design with batch support and offer ample space to reply or clear the clutter. Not to mention, the new Action Center is responsive in comparison to the Windows 10's Action Center. And now if I talk about the Windows widget here, the new Windows widgets create an artificial intelligence powered personalized feed of the latest news, sports, weather and other updates based on your interest similar to those found in recent Windows 10 taskbar update. Once you download Windows 11, you will access widgets from a new tab on the taskbar. You can resize and arrange the widgets to see what's most important for you. You can change the size. Microsoft's widget feature is similar to iOS widgets, but the information can even be localized. You can support local content creators and writers by giving them a tip. You can customize widget. You can either add and remove widget. Here you can search for location and city. The next feature I'm going to talk about is snap layout and other new multitasking features. Snapping was already great on Windows 10, but Microsoft has taken it a notch further with easier snap assist. This new feature is called snap layouts. Whenever you hover your mouse pointer over a Windows Maximize button, you will find various layouts for how you want to position the windows. Here you can see. Similarly, the timeline feature has been removed in Windows 11 and you can now have a clean task view where you can add as many desktop as you want. I like the fluidity while creating a new desktop Overall, both of these features are quietly additions to Windows 11 and elevate the multitasking experience. 
The next feature I'm going to talk about is new wallpapers and sounds. Along with Windows 11, Microsoft has brought a series of beautiful wallpapers, sounds and themes. Wallpapers such as Captured Motion, Flow, Sunrise, Glow are some of the nicest wallpapers you can find on the desktop operating system. Also, the startup and notification is really good. Needless to say, Windows 11 has support for both light and dark mode. And this time around, the dark theme is pretty consistent across user interface elements. We can disregard the few legacy components in Windows 11 since Microsoft will polish it before the final release. So now I'm going to talk about one of my favorite features that is Notepad. So I'm going to search here for it. Now in Windows 11, the Notepad is giving the auto punctuation option. All you need to do is just click the Windows logo key plus H. And here you can see the option. Now in settings, you can Turn on the auto punctuation option and you can also turn on the option voice typing launcher. Hello guys, I'm going to tell you about the 10 most major features of Windows 11. Here you can see it has added punctuation automatically so it is one of my favorite features in Windows 11. You can also use it and it can minimize your workload. The next feature I am going to tell you about is settings. After the launch of Windows 10, Microsoft has for the first time completely revamped the settings application. It is built from scratch. The settings page has been neatly categorized with menus and submenus. You also have breadcrumbs for easy navigation and expandable settings options for improved clarity. You also get a power and battery usage report similar to smartphones, some stunning themes and more. All in all, I really like the new settings redesign but in its current form it's a bit slow and not as responsive as one would expect. And for those who are wondering, yes, you still have control panel at your disposal and with Windows 11 you will have a much faster Windows update process thanks to the background installation mechanism Microsoft has promised that Windows updates will now be 40% smaller making the process even more efficient not to mention if an update installation is pending while restarting your computer it will show you the estimated time required to complete the update this nifty addition will save you time and hassle. The new update system is one of the best, if not the best, features of Windows 11. The new feature I'm going to talk about is new Microsoft Store. It will help you discover and install the best applications, games, movies, and even special offers like unique movie discount for Xbox Game Pass members. All the content in the Microsoft Store is tested for security, family safety, and device compatibility. Several awesome applications including Adobe Creative Cloud, Disney, plus TikTok, Zoom, and some of their own applications like Microsoft Team, Visual Studio, and even Notepad and Paint are the part of Microsoft Store on Windows 11. Microsoft redesigned the Microsoft Store from the ground up, making space for more content, keeping the user experience simple and responsive. The next feature I'm going to talk about is Android applications in Windows. The major highlight of Windows 11 is that now it can run Android applications powered by the Amazon App Store. However, Android application support has not been added in the current double two triple O. 0.51 preview built, Microsoft has confirmed that the option to install Android application will arrive in the upcoming builds. But wait, there's more. The best part is that you can even sideload APKs on your Windows 11 PC. How cool is that? As for the implementation, Microsoft has taken the same approach as Windows subsystem for Linux. That means Android applications will run natively on Windows 11 and the performance will be pretty good. Not to mention, Android applications will run both on Intel and AMD processors irrespective of the Intel Bridge technology that brings this feature to life. The next feature I am going to talk about is Teams. 
Now you can instantly connect through text, chat, voice or video with all of your personal contacts anywhere no matter the platform or device they are on across Windows, Android or iOS. If the person you are connected to on the other end has not downloaded the Teams application, you can still connect with them via two-way SMS. Windows 11 also gives you a more natural way to connect with friends and family through Teams, allowing you to instantly mute and unmute or start presenting directly from the taskbar. Consumer versions of Skype will no longer be pre-installed on Windows while Skype for Business Online is to be retired on 31st of July, with users required to migrate to Teams. So, RIP Skype. The next feature I am going to talk about is Auto HDR and Dynamic Refresh Rate. During the Windows 11 unveiling, Microsoft announced support for Auto HDR that would elevate the viewing experience while playing games. While we have not tried it on our system so far, it sure sounds like a great feature for the massive gaming community on Windows. Apart from that, Windows 11 has brought dynamic refresh rate on Windows 11 to offer a smooth and fluid experience while interacting with operating system. So yes, the future of smooth, high refresh rate Windows machines is pretty near and I'm definitely excited for that. The last feature I'm going to talk about is touch screen. As you know that Windows 10 tablet mode was complicated mess but Windows 11 drops it for some meaningful features that really made the two in one that I have tested in Windows 11. The new touch keyboard can be personalized with new colors and the ability to insert GIFs and you can even use your voice to control windows. The new keyboard is very reminiscent of Swift key on Android and iOS, floating where you need it and staying out of the way. Improved gestures make navigating Windows 11 a breeze on tablets, a bit like what Apple did on iPad operating system 13. Microsoft even made touch targets easier to use so that windows are easier to drag with fingers and there's more spacing between icons and touch bars. Then there is a pen menu which now lets you add your own applications for quicker access. The gesture takes some getting used to after 5 years of Windows 10, but smaller changes like these make a huge difference in the long run and add a lot of value to Surface devices. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you need to ask anything, reach out to us in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video.